There are a lot of different types of birds that hunt, but they hunt in different ways. One of the most important birds that hunt are vultures. You might say vultures don't really hunt, but they actually do. They hunt corpse. Between all the birds and animals in the world, the nickname that was given to the vulture is the hero of the ecosystem. But why is the vulture considered a hero between everything else? Because it has one of the most important jobs in the ecosystem. Vulture is a very cool looking bird. Even though it doesn't look badass like an eagle, it still has proper stature. The most important fact about a vulture is that it has the strongest immune system compared to other birds and animals. There is a certain group of animals called scavengers. And what it means to be a scavenger is that the animal looks for dead flesh to eat rather than hunt. There are plenty of animals that are scavengers. Between all the birds, the most famous one are vultures, crows, and seagulls. Between mammals, you have hyenas, raccoon, and fox. You can find scavengers in the seas as well, like crabs and lobster. A lot of these scavengers aren't forced to eat on dead flesh because they can actually hunt for their food, like hyenas or crows. Hyenas are scavengers, but they usually try to hunt down a fresh animal. If it doesn't find food, it will start eating on dead flesh, and it has a strong immune system, so rotten flesh doesn't affect it. If a hyena doesn't actually hunt and eat rotten flesh for a very long time, it doesn't get the certain nutrition it needs and loses a lot of energy. And when you lose energy in the wild, you will probably get hunted down and eliminated. In this case, the vulture is completely different because it only wants rotten flesh or dead flesh. And that is exactly why it's a hero amongst other animals. You could kind of consider it the garbage man of nature. Not only do these natural vacuums clean the environment, they also get rid of the disease and bacteria in that area. A vulture is so well known around the world that when you refer to something as scavenger, it automatically refers to a vulture because it's the most famous one. When you go to Google and search scavenger, most of the photos you're gonna see are from vultures. Inside the stomach of the vulture, you will find a certain acid that you could compare to volcanic material inside the volcano. And any bacteria, disease, or food that's inserted, it will get burned up and eliminated. So it doesn't allow the bacteria it consumes to exit its body. When the animal dies in nature, Usually the first scavenger to find it is a vulture or a group of vultures. The other ones show up later. The vulture has a very strong vision. It flies high and it's constantly scanning the ground. You could compare it to the SR-71 but without the speed. Like for example, if you find a dead flesh that a hyena is eating, just be sure that a vulture has found this first ate a bunch of it and left, and the hyena eats the rest. All around the world, there are 23 different types of vultures, and in each location, they are much different from one another. Seven of these vultures are endangered. In the year 1990, scientists realized that the population of vultures are heavily declining. And the weirdest part is that it was only vultures that were dying, not anything else. After plenty of research, they realized that these vultures are being poisoned. In Southern Asia, 90% of the vulture population died in a span of four years. 
Scientists realized that these vultures were eating flesh that had a certain type of drug in it, a drug called diclofenac. This is an anti-inflammatory drug for pigs and cow, but it's poison for vultures. So pigs and cows are fed to vultures? Rest of the world they don't, but in India, since the cow is sacred and they don't eat pig, they have a natural life and naturally die. So when they die, the vultures eat them. So most of these vultures died because of this anti-inflammatory drug. And that is why since 2006, it has been outlawed in Pakistan, India, and Nepal. So these useful birds don't go extinct. Vultures can easily go extinct because to multiply their population, it's extremely difficult. Like for example, each female vulture might lay two eggs per year. And that's nothing compared to other birds. So let's say in Southern Asia, the vulture goes extinct. Who cares, there are other scavengers to take care of the rotten flesh. Yes, those scavengers can do that job. But the vulture does something that's much more important, something that other scavengers can't do. The vulture keeps the ecosystem balanced. But how is that? It doesn't allow the population of a scavenger like the hyena to skyrocket. It finds the food before the hyena and eats most of it. And this doesn't allow the hyena to thrive in population. The weak ones or the ones that are extra will die off because of this. And this is very important because it keeps the ecosystem very balanced. In an area that has too many hyenas because of a lack of vulture, it ruins the ecosystem and it puts other animals' life in danger. The most important thing vultures have is that the acid on their stomach gets rid of the bacteria and the disease of the flesh. But when a hyena eats something that's rotten, it doesn't get rid of 100% of the bacteria and some of it is left over in its feces. Everybody knows how a vulture looks because it's very iconic. It has a bald head that's furless and hairless and they're pretty giant for what they are. But why are they bald? That's because it allows the bacteria and the diseases to not stick to the fur of its head and it could be easily cleaned. But what about its legs? Because it's always in contact with rotten flesh. This animal has a solution for its feet as well. It's called urine. And unlike anybody else's urine where it has a lot of bacteria, the urine is actually a bacteria killer and it cleans the feet. And this is another mechanism that it helps to stay clean. You can find windmills everywhere. The number one killer for vultures are these windmills. Because when a vulture is flying, it doesn't look straight. It looks down, left, and right for food. So that is why they always crash into windmills and get killed. Vultures were always hated throughout history and nobody considered them important because they thought they were dirty and they spread diseases around. A belief that's completely 180 degrees because it does the opposite of that. It eliminates the disease and bacteria in the whole environment. Nowadays, most governments know that how important this bird is and they're helping keep them safe and help them not go extinct. Their mating takes a very long time and to regrow their population, it will take an extremely long time. Like for example, in Kenya, there is a bad belief that says, vultures bring a lot of diseases to the environment. And that is why they poison a lot of animals in Kenya. And after that, the vultures start eating them and dying as well because of that. The vulture is a type of bird that could puke on the man. And this is the only defense mechanism it has. Anything that wants to attack it, it will puke towards it and fly away. You've most likely watched our video about the little girl and the vulture. The vulture is sitting down and it's waiting to eat this child. Do you think if the photographer wasn't around, the vulture would eat this child? 
until it wasn't sure that it's not moving or doesn't have the power to choke it out, it won't attack or go forward. But if it realizes the child has no energy and it can't fight back, it will start eating them. And it will start eating while the human is still alive. You see a lot of movies and videos that vultures fly around in a circle. Is there a dead body down there where these guys are waiting for it to die so they can land and start eating? There's a chance that it could be or there couldn't. When vultures get tired, this is one of their ways they can rest. Since they have giant wings, they just open it up and start flying in a circle. And that's how they rest. This is their form of a break. But there's a chance there could be a dead body down there that they're waiting for it to die so they can land. What is the lifespan of vultures anyways? It all depends on the type of vulture around the world. An average age for a vulture is about 10 years old. But when you talk about the king vulture that is only found in this area of the world, meaning Latin America, it can last up to 30 years. Can you domesticate a vulture? No, you cannot. If you gain its trust, it won't attack you, but it can't be like a pet where you can train it and give it tricks. I knew vultures are very good for nature, but not to this extent, because a lot of people around the world truly believe that this is an evil animal that only does bad things. And I hope this video helped you guys out to understand this animal a little bit better.